Pisces, it's me, Sagittarius, Soltero. I'm going to go ahead and do your guys' weekly reading. It's going to be a general love reading or love whatever is um, in your life right now. So if it's general or love, whatever, take whatever resonates. It's going to be for the week of the 31st to June 6th. Okay, so make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below if you like it. Um, it's for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or Cross Watch if you're doing the Pisces. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do past, present, and then the current week, which is the future. So in the past, it can be anywhere from, you know, May or before that. Currently, so like whatever's going on before, you know, this coming week. And then the near future is going to be that week that I'm talking about, the 31st to the 6th. Okay? Um, if you guys would like to donate to my channel, you guys can do so. I'll leave my cash app in the uh, description box. Okay? Um, it'd be much appreciated. That's how I buy my decks of cards and stuff like that. So I'd appreciate it. If not, you guys can always just feel free to watch for free. Just give me a like. That's free. Okay, so I'm going to see what's going on in the past real quick with um, Pisces. One more shuffle. Okay, what's going on in the past? What happened in the past? All right, the Strength card, Two of Pentacles, Eight of Cups reversed, Five of Swords reversed, Queen of Wands reversed, and the Six of Swords reversed. Overall, it's like you're trying, it's like testing your strength here, because I feel like you guys feel kind of defeated, like you can't move on from a situation. You're kind of back and forth, you're emotionally invested into something, but you feel like defeated, like this person doesn't want to be with you, or you just don't feel like you're desired by somebody here. we will be dealing with a Fire Sign, a Leo, an Air Sign, or Water. Got the five of wands reverse overall. Trying to like not go through any um, conflict with this person. Trying to avoid conflict. Okay? Because then after that we have the ace of cups. Because you love this person but you don't want the conflict anymore. Or the influences that affect this. Alright, why is the strength here? Alright, eight of wands. Try, like you're wanting to communicate but you're kind of holding back a little bit. From this person with communication. Alright, the Queen of Pentacles. But you do appreciate this person and you really value this connection, but it's like you're having to kind of hold back a little bit what you say. Okay, so you do see that like, this could be a long-term relationship, but you don't want to lose anybody. You don't want to lose this person. You're kind of confused though, the Two of Pentacles back and forth. Why is Two of Pentacles here? Two of Pentacles. All right, five of swords reverse and the it's judgment reverse. Not boning it. Okay, it's so basically, it's like you're wanting to kind of realize the truth about a situation, whether or not you should, you know, have this person in your life if they're fated to be in your life or not. Okay, but the eight of cups reversed. We do have the knight of swords, the six of wands reverse, magician. You're still manifesting this person. You're still wanting to be with them. Okay, but you feel like things are unsuccessful, you're not getting the attention you want, and it's like you really want communication with this person. Okay, Five of Swords reversed. Okay, the Chariot reversed and the Hierophant. Okay, you guys want to have some kind of, you know, honesty here to be able to move forward, but something stagnant in this connection. You guys can't really move forward for some reason. There's something that's like stagnant here, it's not moving forward. Queen of Wands reversed. Alright, so we do have the Nine of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Reversed. Could be feeling like you're defeated in this relationship or connection, so you're kind of just venturing out, kind of wondering what it'd be like if you were single or trying to be more independent, trying to be more, you know, kind of focusing on your own energy here, not really focused more on this person. You're kind of focusing on yourself here. Because you feel like you're just not wanted by this person. This person isn't attracted to you. They're not acting like they want you, so you're kind of just focusing on yourself. But you can't let this go, though, with the Six of Swords reversed. Or you can't move on. Like, you still want to be with this person. You manifest them. Alright, the World, Queen of Wands reversed. And the Nine of Swords reversed. You want a new beginning with this person, but there's still a lot that you're trying to, like, move on from. You're trying not to let it emotionally affect you anymore. But you're still feeling defeated, like you still have to go through something and let something go. Because I feel like you could have a new cycle with this person. But you're just too guarded or scared of the Nine of Wands. Four of Wands after that. You guys could have something. But you guys are scared that it's going to be the same as it was before. Okay. You guys want to have a new beginning. 
with this person. But it's like you're kind of scared that it's going to, like, this person hurt you so much that they're just going to keep hurting you. Alright, so you guys could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, a fixed sign, a Cancer, Taurus, Gemini, Scorpio. Alright, let's go ahead and see what's currently going on with you guys, Pisces. What's currently going on with you and this person. Two more shuffles. How do they currently feel? How do you guys currently feel? What's going on here currently? Ooh. Right, justice reverse. Queen of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Three of Pentacles reversed. Temperance reversed. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Overall, King of Cups reversed. Feeling like you need to beat your emotionally drained. You just want to let this go. Alright, I feel like you still are kind of interested a little bit. The Page of Wands kind of still wanting to branch out, see what's out there. But I feel like you're kind of right now focusing on your money or yourself. I feel like the timing's not right. Things are kind of unlevel with you and this person. You guys aren't really working things out or collaborating to a point of working things out. Could be dealing with a Sag or Libra for sure. Or a fixed sign or Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. Alright, why is justice reverse with you and this person? Why is justice reverse? Four of Wands reverse. You guys are kind of going through some kind of separation or instability. Six of Pentacles. Okay, it's like you guys are still kind of wanting to work things out. But there's not a whole lot of things being fair. Okay, you guys are trying to maybe overcome whatever's not fair. But it's like things are still not really level. Queen of Pentacles. Alright, the star. So you are manifesting something here with this person. You're manifesting things to get better. Okay. With the world reverse, the chariot, nine of pentacles reverse. Yeah, you want to be with this person, you want to move forward, but you guys still have a lot of unfinished business that you want to heal from or you guys need to fix. Okay. Page of Wands. Okay, Seven of Pentacles, you're still wanting to invest into this person or situation, but you feel like they're lacking communication or there's not much communication with the King of Swords reversed. Somebody's not wanting to speak or be very logical about the situation. Maybe they're coming off kind of irrational or bitchy. Maybe somebody's being really like guarded or hesitant to like work on things. Or you could be that way as well. You could be kind of mag and impatient, really wanting to work on things and somebody's not giving you much energy. It's like you're putting more work into something and the other person's giving you a page of wands, not giving you a whole lot of, you know, effort. Three of Pentacles reverse. Ace of Swords reverse. Queen of Swords reverse. I feel like you guys aren't speaking a whole lot or you guys aren't really in a situation where you guys are... I don't know. I feel like you're mad at this person not really wanting to communicate because you feel like they're not being honest or they're not willing to sacrifice and work on things with you. Or you just don't know the realization of the situation. You feel like they're lying. They're not being truthful. Temperance reverse. I feel like you're in your head about this situation a lot. Kind of off balance. Scatterbrained. Yeah, Queen of Cups reverse though. It's like you're trying to not let it emotionally affect you. Okay, Six of Swords reverse. But you can't let the situation go. You're constantly thinking about it but not expressing it. Okay, you're trying to come off like you're emotionally like cut off. You don't care. But I feel like you still think about it a lot. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Maybe just feel like this isn't destined. Like this isn't meant to be. Or the time it's never going to be right. Queen of Wands reverse. It's like you're losing inspiration or desire to put in work towards this. Yeah, death reverse. So you don't want it to be over. But you just feel like right now you need to not really put so much attention onto it. Ten of Pentacles reverse. That it's like not going to really be anywhere successful right now page of cups though so i do feel like there's gonna be some kind of apology or something here coming in soon but or there already has been but it's like i don't know it's like you're just kind of all over the place with the situation trying to focus on yourself your security your money I feel like the timing's not right could be doing the libra sagittarius a fixed sign scorpio cancer cancer aquarius 
Okay, let's go ahead and see what's um, coming in the next week for you guys. Going into the next week, what's going on with um, Pisces and the situation. Let's get five shuffles. Let's get two more. Alright, Pisces and this person, what's going on? Curtains next coming week. Alright, Nine of Wands reverse, Six of Cups reverse, Magician reverse, Empress reverse, Temperance reverse again, Two of Cups. Like I said, I feel like in the next week you're still going to be kind of unsure about something here. Overall, we do have the Sun. Okay, Six of Swords wanting to move past something here. Um... But there's a sense of, you know, kind of letting your guard down here, not wanting to be upset about a situation, but there's still not growth here happening. Something from the past is still kind of affecting you. And it's like you're kind of feeling like you can't really do anything about it. Like you're feeling out of control, like you can't fix something. But there's still a strong connection with this person or love here. But you just feel like you can't fix something. Could we deal with a Gemini, Taurus, Libra, Sagittarius? All right, let's clarify. All right, Nine of Wands reverse. Why is that here? It's like you're finally kind of coming out of being scared. Ten of Wands, Nine of Cups. Okay, you still are really working hard on this, fighting for it. Okay, because you feel like there is fulfillment here, but maybe you're working yourself a little too much. Okay, Six of Cups reverse. Two of Wands. Alright, the Emperor and the Ten of Cups reverse. Okay, so it's like you're still wanting to take action on the situation, but you're not really sure if it's going to have stability or not. Not really sure if this person is going to give you what you want, like a family, a happy life. But it's like you're kind of still wanting to work towards it and see where it goes. But you're indecisive. You feel like there's another path you could go down, you know? All right, the magician reversed. It's kind of like you're losing power over the situation. Six of cups. All right, ten of swords reversed. All right, well, you definitely feel like this is a new person for you, but it's like you're kind of wanting to let things go or heal from it, not really manifest it as much as you want it. Okay. Empress reversed. So there's not much growth here coming in the next week. You guys aren't really having a whole lot of growth with the situation. Judgment reversed. You're going to have to make a decision whether or not this person's meant to be in your life. With the Eight of Cups reversed, it's like you can't walk away from them. But it's like it's not really fulfilling you or making you happy. You almost feel like you're losing your self-worth with this person. And it's almost like you don't really know if they're destined to be in your life. Okay, with the temperance reverse, you're just all over the place with this person here. Okay, magician reverse, you're losing your self-control, your power, losing yourself. Four of wands reversed. Okay, but it's like it's not, you're still not in a commitment with this person. You're still not really a label. And it's like you're losing control, losing stability. Why is two of cups here? Nine of Wands, Eight of Wands, Three of Swords. Okay, you have a really strong connection with this person. You want to reach out to them. want to see where things go, but there's a lot of pain that they've put you through. Okay, you feel guarded. You feel wounded. I feel like you've been through hell and back with this person. On the bottom, we have the strength. You're trying to overcome whatever happened. Knight of Cups, trying to, you know, love yourself again. Alright, so I don't know. I feel like this person puts you through the arena. Like, yeah, you feel good when you're with them, but... And they make you happy, but it's like, is it worth it? It's like the the, the happiness they give you, is that actually, you know? Because I feel like, you know, yeah, you tell yourself you're happy, but are you really happy, you know? We got Gemini, Sagittarius, Taurus, Libra, Sagittarius, Gemini, Scorpio, Aries. All right. Let's get some Oracle cards, see more of what's going on. It's like, are you guys really fulfilled and happy, you know?
Okay, believe and succeed in reverse. Okay, and then move. So there's going to be some kind of change here. Okay, we do have uh, control in reverse. Losing control over the situation or not really putting as much control into it. Okay, let's get some cards here. Past life emotion lives in you. Okay, Brayden, you're being loud. I can't. Here, I here. Okay, past life emotion lives in you. Okay, releasing whatever happened in the past. I know it's safe to let go. Yeah, you are unlimited. All right, let's go ahead and get some romance angels, and I'll clarify. What? They don't. All right, Pisces and this person. This next coming week. Okay, this could be the one. Heart to heart conversation. On the bottom, we have children. Okay, children could be a factor. Or you guys could have, like, you know, change in, you know, age. You guys could be a little bit different of age. Okay, or someone's more immature. All right, so it's believe and succeed reverse. All right, Four of Swords. Kind of taking a time out on this to heal yourself. Yeah, Eight of Wands. But it's like you're wanting to communicate, but you want to also just kind of heal yourself right now or take a break. Okay, move. Page of Cups, Reverse. And the Strength. Okay, it's like you're kind of holding back right now. Express in love to this person because you feel like there's a lot that needs to change. Maybe you feel like you have to go from within. And kind of heal yourself. Okay, past life emotion lives in you. You're expressing more. It is releasing. Okay, page of wands in the hangman. But you're stuck, okay? You're stuck on what you should do. It's like you want to explore your emotions, but you're stuck. Or explore more. It is safe to let go. Yeah, the devil. If any, a toxic attachment. Okay, let go of whatever isn't serving you, whatever isn't helping you, it's hurting you. Okay, the tower. Okay, a lot of changes that are happening that you need to let things go. A lot of, you know, upheaval, a lot of uh, chaos. This could be the one. Okay, nine of swords, but you're in your head about this person or situation a lot. Okay, nine of pentacles reverse. Maybe not feeling like you have much value or you are worthy of this person. We have two nines here. Maybe you don't feel like you're worthy of this person or they don't really appreciate you. Heart to heart conversation. Two of cups. Okay, you guys need to address your feelings here, what you guys are desiring and wanting. Too many cards flew out. Let me get one more card. Heart to heart conversation. Two of cups. Eight of swords. Yeah, the high priestess reverse. You guys need to reveal how you feel because you guys are like in a mental prison stuck in your head. You guys both need to just release this and communicate. Okay, Knight of Swords reverse, but there's like block communication or not much. Okay, you guys need to offer more to each other. Okay, so you guys could be dealing with Pisces, um, Scorpio, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces. Okay, let's go ahead and get more of the Zodiac cards and see. Alright, so let's go ahead and see like what other signs... You guys could be dealing with Pisces this coming week. Okay, Libra, Cancer, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Leo on the bottom. Okay, after water we had fire as well. So we do have some fire, water, and air. Okay, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Comment down below if you like the reading.